The neighborhood of East Baltimore Midway is only three years old. At least that's when the area got its own special identity, like Hamden or Highland Town. 6,000 people live in this row house neighborhood, bounded by Greenmont Avenue, Harford Road, North Avenue, and 25th Street. When the houses were built 50 to 70 years ago, the neighborhood was mostly Irish and German Catholics. Today, it is 75% black. It is a, a inner city neighborhood that hasn't really deteriorated as fast as the other neighborhoods around the city. Uh, there's still a lot of viable housing in the area. 50% of the residents of East Baltimore Midway own their own homes. That's high for an inner city neighborhood. It means that more people take better care of their homes. But if you ask people why they like their neighborhood, they say it's because of their neighbors. You have a cross-section of people. You have people of almost every walk of life. You have people as far as education, from the top to the bottom. Uh, and I think that everybody is striving for the same thing, for a better neighborhood. It's like a family. Our neighborhood is like a family. We all work together in this neighborhood and made it what it is today. And this is why we're scrambling now, trying to make it better. The neighborhood got organized earlier than most because in the 1960s, the War on Poverty program pumped $4 million into the area. The Kirk Multipurpose Center was the first experiment in decentralizing government services to bring them closer to the people. The area still has problems. There are absentee landlords and boarded up homes. But residents like Ida Grant, who have lived in the neighborhood for 30 years, think it's on the way back. And for the first time since the city fair began, East Baltimore Midway will be represented with the rest of the city's neighborhoods. When they say East Baltimore Midway, it will mean something. It will mean pride. It will mean beauty. Everything that we would want it to be. This is Patrick McGrath for News Scene.